Hello, lovely people of the internet. Damian Geppetto here with a draft, a premium draft video for you. This is my first on the channel. We'll be doing a draft once a week. So please like, subscribe, and go ahead and drop into the comments section and talk about all the mistakes I made in the draft. But let's get into the intro and the actual video. Thank you for watching. What I want you to start paying attention to is not just when you get land flooded, look at how many times your opponent mulligans. That's what I want you to notice because it's about 30% of the time now. It used to be like 10, 20% of the time the opponent would mulligan. Now, 30% of the time, it's either you or the opponent's mulliganing. They, like I said, every time they patch it, they really screw it up. So that's why we're going to do this draft. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Well, I mean, that's about where I am. I, what, what, what was I at? 12? So, we got filled seats, filled seats. All right. I'm going to ready it. We're all ready. Here we go. Wow. That's quick. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Olivia's Attendance, Menace. Ooh. Six mana. Um, it's a rare. I think I'll probably get it just because there's no other rares in the deck. And I know red green uh, vampires or werewolves is really strong, so we're gonna take we're gonna take it because it's the rare. It's the only real reason I'm taking it, and that's a pretty gas card. I mean, it's pretty strong. So, I mean, I got the time to make these picks, so I mean, I'm gonna look through them all, see what we got here. Like, so like that would be a good card to combine with all vampire deck, but. Oh, the other one is, that's a, that's, okay, so that's a pretty decent card, too. If I wanted to do a white-blue, which is pretty strong. Um, are there any? Yeah, that's not that good. Counterspell. I mean, this is just the rare, it, it's, I'm going to confirm it, I'm going to take it. We're going to do it, why not? What is this? Okay, what else we got in here? Yes. Okay. So control. I'm going to select that for now. So I, it looks like I'm going to do a Rakdos. Possibly. We might go to green. We might go green if we get a bunch, have to, but control is something I'm going to focus on uh, in the drafting here. So like I could, maybe, maybe we go Boros now. I think I'm, that's three mana destroy instant. That's probably the best choice. It's rated the highest. You can't see it, but I have a, Untap GG, Draftsmith. So we'll confirm that. We'll take that. Control is big. So what else we got here? That's a decent werewolf. Okay, maybe we do vampires. Okay, so it's four mana for a 3-3 three, three with menace. The other one has menace. Maybe that's one we go with. That's zombie, gift of fangs, plus two for vampires. I think I'm gonna do that, gift of fangs. I'm gonna select that. I know most people would go for like uncommons, but gift of fangs, I think I have to go with it because I'm gonna, I've got a vampire. We'll just, maybe we'll build vampire deck. Hopefully it'll fall to us right. Let's see. That's just a bat. What is this? We got any other control geist? Fading hope. Aura. That's all right. Oh, two cards. Lose two life. Create a blood token. That's not bad. That's, it's too high mana, I think. The geist is good. But I don't know if I want to do spirits deck. I think, I want to, I think Rakdos would be pretty strong. If I can get it. Do I do a courier batter point of discussion? I think we want the blood tokens, to be honest with you. But I'm going to take the courier bat. It's a three. three. All right, so what do we got here? Yep. All right. Control is always good. Boarded Window, I played with that on one of my drafts, and it was pretty decent, actually. Um, I can't complain about that, but I think 
two damage to creature planeswalker. If it dies, exile it. That's, I mean, that's straight up control. Board of Windows okay, but it's not that super strong. That's you know, none of these are really good cards. So I mean, we got we got enough reds are falling to us. The black somebody else is really going with black too because the blacks are disappearing. So we're gonna have to put priority on black cards, I think. Um, let's see, what is this? Plus three, sure strike. What is it? Boarded window again. Traveling minister is pretty strong. But I think I'm going to get the boarded window. It's it's an annoying card to play against, I'll be honest with you. It, it just saves you for four damage, but that can be the difference between winning and losing. It really helps because when they attack, it's not just the damage done to you. It's the damage, period. So... Uh, Yeah, so, so we're going to probably have to shift into white, I think, because somebody else is going black. So we might we might not be able to do black. We might have to do Recto. So I'm, the Griffin Rider is the best card here. I could get this Pyrus Bomb, but it doesn't look like anybody else is going, going red. Really. So let's see. Yeah, Reckless Impulse, Piercing Light. Okay, what is this? That's yeah, a decent card. What is this? Ooh, Zombie Kraken. Exploit. <sighs> That's probably the best card out there. I think. So Somebody else is going black, so let's, let's just make it hard on them. Green Statuette. Actually, with a vampire deck, that's probably going to be pretty good. And I don't really see anything else that's good. Five, fear of death, siphon essence, wandering spirit. I'm not, I don't have any blues, so we'll just take that. What do we got here? Reckless Impulse coming back. And Blood Craze Socialite, that's that's vampire. So we're doing the vampire theme. This is okay, it's just X style cards. But we're taking the Socialite. Somebody, looks like blue is being left to the waste. What is this? It's three mana. And we'll take it. It's probably going to get cut, but we'll take it anyways. All right, we're going to take the Pirate Spawn. And the trail. Oh, yeah. Sweet. All right, so, oof, oof. That's a really strong card, but I'm not doing werewolves, so... Oh, that's another... Ooh, that's vampire. That's that's what we're going with. Gas! Gas, we got another rare. Sweet. So this is vampire. This is vampires. I, I, I talk trash about vampires, and now I'm having to play vampires. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure, huh? All right, so what do we got here? Undead Butler... Celebrants. Two blood tokens. All right, select that for now. Socialite, I already got one of those. I got a lot of high-end cards. Okay, yeah, I think we're gonna do this. We're gonna do Ragged Recluse, actually, because with blood tokens, we're gonna be discarding cards. So that's a good combo with it. Yeah, we're gonna do that. I mean, this is probably the best card on the deck, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna go into green at this point, so we'll, we'll just leave that there. Black. See, somebody else is doing black. We will get another recluse. It's a good card. Two mana. Yeah, we'll just get a second recluse. All right, what else we got? Bloody betrayal. I guess. I mean, this is control in one sense. We steal, steal a creature, we untap it, it gains haste, and we create a blood token. I kind of like, I mean, it's synergy, synergy with, with what I'm doing. Nothing else is super, super strong. Uh, persistent skeleton, I guess. I guess we could use a one mana. Yeah. You know what? No, we'll do that. Because we could use a one mana card. W whether it comes back from the graveyard or not, a one mana creature, we need something in the one slot. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to throw that in there. Lightning Wolf, okay. Like Ripsaw, that's good, but I don't know. Are we going to... Maybe we splash some green? 
What is this? Grisly Ritual. Oh, yeah. That's a, I mean, it's six mana destroy spell, but it creates two blood tokens as well. Like, control is important. We're already doing Rakdos. I mean, it's already well confirmed we're doing Rakdos vampires, so we'll just keep rolling with it. Higher spawn. I don't really like that. Inspired idea. I think I'm just going to get this for my collection. That in the collection. What do we got? I'll take visionary. Oh, what else is this? Hmm. Flame blast bolt. And it's one mana, one mana damage spell. I think that's going to be what we get. Two mana, three one. That turns into a four three. I mean, it's still good, but control is everything. I think that's just my opinion. All right. So what do we got? Thirst for Discovery. I got those in my... Okay. What else do we got? Do we want any of these cards? Thirst for Discovery. I mean, I'm happy with how things are looking right now. We got a lot of synergy with the vampires. It's a courier bat. I already do. I have one of those. Yeah, I got one of those already. Draw two cards, lose two life, then create a blood token. I mean, that's drawing cards. That's pretty darn good. I can't. I think I got to take that one. Three mana, draw two cards. That's a good. It's a good spell. Vampire's kiss. Ooh, what is this? Vampire cleric. Ooh. Maybe maybe we splash a little white in the deck, huh? Because we got the Griff Rider. Maybe we just splash a little white, huh? Yeah, we got another Griff Rider to pick, so uh, we might do that. We'll see. We'll see when we get down to it. Okay, that kills vampires. Uh, I guess I guess that's what I'm gonna select. I mean I don't really care. Nurturing Presence, Unofficial Empire Cleric. It's a one mana. We'll take it. And that's, that's what we gotta get. Alright. So, pack three, what do we got here? Okay, it's a draw card thing. I already got the Sanguine Satchel at, so I think that. Uh, that's that's a rare, so I think that's probably the best. What do we got in here? Black. Zombie soldier skill. I already got one of those. No really okay, sure strike, no. Hunter Bear is good. No cloak cadet, that's good. It's five mana. It's green. We don't need green. I think I think I'm just gonna get the investigating journal. We're gonna we're gonna pump up the card draw. Ooh, ill tempered loner. This this is what won me my my midweek madness, this ill tempered loner. So I think I'm gonna look and see if there's gonna be no, but I gotta get Galactus Gas because I'm doing vampires. This this by the way, this card is gas. This card is amazing. Somebody's gonna get that and gonna gonna wreck me because of it, but I'm doing I'm doing blood tokens, vampires, so I'm just keeping with the synergy. This is the best card here, but I need to synergize with my deck, so I'm, I'm picking to win. I'm not picking for, for cards I'm going to keep. All right, so what do we got here? I mean, I could do use that, but it's kind of weak. Oh, Shield Break is pretty strong. Yeah, I think I, we might end up splashing white in there. Oh, well, no, another Gluttonous Guest. What am I saying? Gluttonous Guest, I think, is probably going to be better than the Blood Fountain. So, we got Control. Another Zombie Kraken. Uh, Mimic. No. Flying Bird. Yeah, nobody's really running them. Okay, so it looks like somebody, whoever was doing the black, it looks like they kind of gave up on the black, which is good to know. Um. 
I think we'll do the bat because there's plenty of life gain synergy with with uh, the guests and the bat, I guess. Okay, so there's that. We'll take another bat. Fleeting spirit. Okay, this is pretty strong. We'll default to that. Oh, what is this? Gift of Fangs. I got one of those already, don't I? Yeah. But I'm a vampire deck, so that's going to... That's the... I think I gotta go with that. Because that's gonna pump the vampires or I can use it to control against my opponents. So we're gonna do that. A braid is a control spell. We're gonna default to that for now, but uh, flying training. Maybe we do splash white in there, but I'm not a braid is I'm gonna keep the braid. Okay. We'll take visionary blood hit. What is this? Three mana, two mana, three one. Three mana, three three, can't block. Okay, that's pretty good. I'll have plenty of blood tokens. We could get that or another guest, but I already got two of the guests, so we'll get the blood hypnotist. Alright, what do we got here? Flint Best Bolt. We could get a third one of those. Um, I think we will. Because that's crap. That's just not that great. That I mean, we've already gone all in on this vampire stuff. So, another statuette, another specimen. What do we got? Yeah, that one slot's pretty good, two slots, pretty good, three slots, pretty good. Um, I think the statuette with the vampires is gonna be good. What are we looking at here? Yeah, okay. Another courier bat, maybe? Yeah, I think that's what we go with. I'm gonna get the shield breaker just because I don't need I don't need to throw any more blue in. Another statuette, or should I get ceremonial knife? I think we'll take the knife. We've got enough statuettes already. What is this? Zombie instant. Okay. Alright, that's a decent draft. I don't know how good this deck is gonna do because it's zombie it's a Alright, so let's just do this. Get these out of here, get the blue out of here, obviously, first. And all right, I think I'm gonna get the white out too. We're just gonna do pure. What else is? What is white? Oh, mark up purifier. <laughs> That's a pretty good card. I mean, I get rid of this. I'm not doing zombies, so. I mean, I could, I can just get the planes and the purifier out of here and just run pure Rakdos. I think that's probably the best way to do this. And let's now, okay, what are we going to get rid of? Okay, that's not that great. Aha, uh -huh. well, okay, so we'll get rid of the Ancestral Anger. Oh, this is where I wish I had people to help me with on the cut down. Ragged Recluse, I like that. Statuette, I'm, I'm going to keep that. We'll get rid of the Sure Strike. We've got six more to cut. So what are we looking at? Pyrus Bond's an elemental. When it dies, it does three damage. I mean, it's not that special. So we'll cut that right now. This, this is Gas of Olivia Attendance is what we're going for. So where are we at? Five. All right, so the three slot looks pretty crowded. Okay, yeah, they break 
combatants is gone. That's gone. I might get rid of the board of when uh, some ceremonial knife is gone. Alright, so what a bloody betrayal. Take the creature. I don't I don't think I need to steal a creature. If I've got all of this control, I mean I got an abraid. I've got three flame bolts. I've got I got the grizzly ritual. So what else do I have? Hero's downfall as well. Alright, let's just check this. Okay, so we need to get rid of some black. So I mean that's pretty strong. I might I might just get rid of these bats, I think. I mean, it's three mana, two twos that fly, but nothing super special about that. So we'll just get rid of those. And that gives us 40 right there. Let me just look at this. What are we looking at? The curve is, I got way too many at three. Bloody vamps. That'll be the name. All right, I think what we need to do is let's get rid of that stuff. We are, yeah. So, boarded window, I don't know if I'm going to keep that. It, it helped me in my last draft, though. But I have too many in the three slots, so let's see. Yeah, that's useless. So... Yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like that's pretty much what I'm gonna go with. Like, uh, I got the three courier bats, but I got rid of them. I mean, I guess that's what it is. Because the gift of fangs can be minus twos or it can be plus twos, so that's good. And I got like a decent curve, I guess you could say. That's a six, a six, a four, a four. So I don't have anything in the five slot, but I got a lot in the three slot. Seventeen to eighteen is what they say, so. All right, so that's right. I don't want to get droughted. So I think we're going to go with this. We're going to just lock it in. I mean, it's only fake coins, so let's try it. Let's try and get, let's see, 250 gems, 100 gems. So that's 300. That's 500. So we need, if I can get to three wins, I'll be able to buy the mastery pass, and that'll make me happy. So I'm going to try. That would mean I'd go three and three. So let's just hope that that happens. I mean, it's a vampire deck, and I'm going with vampires and blood tokens. Let's see how powerful they are. Let's just see how powerful they are. Let's roll with it. Wade Wilson 661. That is my old area code. <laughs> Okay, so we got a one drop, we got a control, a control. I mean, we're going to keep it, obviously. Okay, so we got a matchup against red, so let's throw down our skeleton. Okay, red, green. Interesting. Maybe blocks. No. Nope. I mean, I'll exchange one for one, I guess. Just, just test and see, see if he would do it. Nope. Okay, we can take that out on our turn. We can heroes downfall the flame breather, but I'm gonna save the heroes downfall. So we'll do that. And exile the wolf. So I'm guessing he's doing like a werewolf thing is my guess. The question is, do we let the... Yeah, I guess we let the specimen die. We're not going to attack. We'll just make him 
kill out the specimen because we can bring it back into our hand and cast it next turn if we want to. I might have to get rid of that fire breather, but I know he's going to have something stronger than that, so I'm kind of waiting. And this way, if we don't draw anything, we can bring the specimen back, but... So we'll throw that out there. Give us blood token. We can always discard, I guess, one of the lands. Yep, it's a wolf deck. One away, one land away from Olivia's. So what is this? Okay, I can hear those downfall. The lightning wolf, but then I won't be able to get guests. That's three. Yeah, I think we'll do Gladness guest. Turn. I think we'll sacrifice the statuette for the lightning wolf instead of the hero's downfall. And we'll get rid of the blood hypnotist, I guess. It's a camp block. Take action. Oh, sweet. That was a good draw. And we'll exchange fine. That. Let's see what else he's got. Just need one land, and we got our 6 6 minutes. Vamp out. Alright. So we didn't get it, but let's get rid of the other. I guess we'll get rid of. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the lightning wolf. Oh, and he just dumped out. Wow. Oh, that was quick. Sweet. Sweet. That's our first victory. Sweet. I'll take it. All right. Vampire's looking good so far. I didn't even get down my, my Olivia's. Like, he just left right away. All right. Oh, we got two packs. All right, that's good. Let's let's roll again. Let's see if these blood token vamps can keep doing it. Let's see. Notice the key is the control. Having that control, getting his stuff off the board, he just dumped out. He realized, okay, this guy's this guy's got got the got what it takes to handle me. Because I think most people play really aggro in the drafts. They really want to just boom, come at you hard. Oh, we get one win, and now it's having a hard time finding another matchup. I guess it's probably more more common with the draft than. Because I doubt that I'm only in the pool with the eight people who drafted the same as me. I think it just puts me in a pool with everybody who's in bronze, who's doing a premium draft at this point. All right, guest, downfall, statuette, purveyor. I mean, yeah, we'll keep it. I mean, we don't have a one mana drop, but 
other than that, we, we're sitting good. We got two mana drop, three mana drop. We got three mana control. So, Vampire Slayer. Okay. So, anti-vampire deck. Very interesting. We're going to have to get that off the board, obviously. He's, he's going to be salivating now to see that. <laughs> uh. I think we'll just have to get rid of the Vampire Slayer. Since it'll kill my vampires if it does any damage to it. That's pretty, pretty OP. Oh, wait. Oh, so what do we got here? Oh, Shade Stalker. That's a really strong, strong creature. Uh, what is this? Yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. We're going to go Ragged Recluse. And then we'll sacrifice a card. Because he's not a vampire. And then he'll turn into a 3-3. And we're going to discard one of the lands, because four is all we need at this point. All right. Yeah, sure, why not? Should I, should I put the pressure on? This is the question. Because, yeah, I think so. I mean, we're sitting good. We got a purveyor. I think we're going to make him... Make him sweat. And at least do three damage. Transforms. Now he can do he can attack with everything, but we can kill off the slayer. So he probably will attack with the stalker only, is my guess. Since I'm a vampire deck and he's got a vampire slayer, but we still got Hero's Downfall. We got this this is, you know. This is a gas card, a flying trample vampire that gets pluses for every time he casts a spell. So I think we're going to just have to exchange. I mean, this is just where we're at. Like, a 3 for a 3, because that can turn into a 3-3 three, three with haste at any time. So make him cast another spell. Resistance squad. Okay, so it's human deck is what it looks like to me. So... I guess what we'll do is we're gonna gluttonous guess. We're gonna wait on the purveyor. Don't think he has a lot of control with this kind of. But we still got the hero's downfall. But this, we gotta get rid of that vampire slayer. Is what we gotta do. So we'll we'll throw down the guest. Create our blood token. And we'll get rid of the vampire slayer. Because we are a vampire deck. And that is scary. <laughs> Let's be honest. And we still got the hero's downfall. We're going to keep that for whatever strong creature he's got. Let's see if he's got a plus up, which he probably does. That's fine. Massive might. Okay, just till the end of the turn. He did one. That's not that big of a deal, I guess. Well, we could do Hero's Downfall, but I don't think so. We're gonna get this out right now. We're just gonna. We're gonna throw the gas. We gotta. Shield Basher, okay. I don't think he's gonna sacrifice the resistance squad, so. Okay, so we're gonna take out the Shield Basher with the downfall. That's the play. And. We're going to wait. We're going to wait on that. So we 
can do six damage to him. Because this always needs creatures, so the investigator's journal is no good with just one creature out there. He might want to just draw a card. I mean, he's got a bunch of cards. Okay, that's a, that's a good discard. He discarded something that is, has Disturb. I think that's a good play. Definitely a good play. If I draw a land and I get these attendants out, oof, oof. Because that, that th ta three damage to deal damage to any target. What is that going to do? Makes it a four, five, okay. It'll do four damage. I think we're going to discard the journal. Let's see if he pumps it up anymore. He's probably coming for me, but if he's smart, he'll get rid of that blood token and realize that I'm going to get plus ups for that. But every spell he casts, see, so yeah, every spell he casts, he gets another blood token. I could, I could put the statuette out, but I think I'm just going to take, I'm going to decline it. We're going to get rid of the journal because that's nothing special. We're going to decline though. All right, that's pretty decent. I mean, we can draw cards. We aren't going to need it now because... We'll get out our gas. Now he needs to get a second creature out. because of, Or get rid of Olivia's attendants. He doesn't realize I can get a blood token out next turn. So. Oh, nice. But... Um, oh, he did give himself some good heals there, that's for sure. Alright, so... Hmm. Well, I think we'll just do this. We're not going to do the one damage thing yet. Let's do this. Draw two cards, create a blood token. And I think we will gift of fangs are there. We can attack. Do eight. And we'll just sit back. Sit back and wait. See what he's gonna do. I mean, that flourishing hunter's strong, don't get me wrong. But we got a specimen to block it. And we also got this sanguine statuette as well. So if he comes with everything, I'm blocking because he's got buffs. I mean, that's, that, that's what he's doing, he's buffing. Oh, life gain. Okay, smart, smart. Means I'll have to sacrifice the attendance, I think, if he comes at me. Possibly. Although if he attacks, no, if he attacks and doesn't throw another creature, I can just block with the specimen, die, and then Olivia's can do six and that can do seven. So we'll just do this. Let him get his six left. I'll put him to nine. Because if he casts another spell. Okay. I think we wait on that. So I can, you know what? I can just kill him straight out. Watch this. One, two. We give him a good game. Bam! Lethal. Look at that. 
That's two and oh. Sweet. Maybe I should do more drafts. It looks like I, I'm not as crap as I thought about putting... I mean, then again, I make decks. That's what I do, so... These vampires are working out. And that's all because I went with that Olivia's as my first pick, because that was the that was what I had, and I just kind of, okay, let's see if we can do Rakdos vampires, and it worked out. So, ooh, what's this reward for the daily? Mysterious tomb. Three mana. Then you gotta do two mana to draw a card and transform it into one mana tab non-land permanent. Transform it back. Okay, that's interesting. It's a cycling kind of card. I, I don't I don't see it going in my Leer deck, but it's still interesting. So that's two wins. I'll take that. I only wanted to get the three wins. Three wins will get me my mastery pass, so we need one more win. Just need one more win, and I'll be able to buy the mastery pass. Obviously, I want the four wins because that will fully pay me back for uh, the injury fee, but let's let's keep rolling. Let's see if we can get third win. That deck was well put together. He had a good deck. Like he, he had a really good idea on what he was doing there. I mean, that was an enchantment buff up Selesnia deck. Green's got good cards. Blue, white's got good cards too, and he he put it together. But what he didn't realize is that I had I had all that control, and that was that was just I I have two rares in my deck, flying vampire, and then the vampire that three mana tap does one damage to the target. That's what gave me the win. Excuse me, I drank that water too fast, and I'm like hiccuping now. So, all right. We got two wins. Let's let's go for three. Oh, now it's not really the greatest start. Two statuettes. I mean, the good news is they they can turn into something. But and a gladness gas. We'll keep it. I mean, I hate the mulligan. If you haven't figured it out by now, I just hate the mulligan. And two swamps, two mountains. Oh look, he had to take a mulligan. So they had to take a Ashorn had to take a mulligan. You can tell when the, the deck cycles like that that they took a mulligan. Thinking about what to get rid of, they're, or maybe they're thinking about mulliganing again. Don't tell me the shuffler is going to give me love for once. Okay, they just dumped one out. So we'll, we'll throw the swamp out first. Swamp mountain, swamp mountain. I guess that's the way it works. Okay, we got white traveling minister. Okay, there's the Olivia's attendance again. Let's see if we can get up to it with the six mana. So I think what we'll do is we'll get rid of the statue lad. Right. So this is going to be a tough matchup here. Um, I think we go with gluttonous guests. Yeah, get the gluttonous guest out. Is that way we get life with the sacrifice? He's going to have a bunch of enchantments. This is going to be just like the last deck we played: small creatures with enchantments to make them strong. Friday, nice. Okay. So, let's get the mountain now. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the boarded window just to protect. Because that'll basically make them all 1-1 one, one creatures when they attack. They all can die. Well, unfortunately. Okay, so let's do this. And then we're going to. Because that gives us one life and it draws us a card. We'll get, we don't need a second Sanguine Statuette, so we'll do that and get rid of the Sanguine Statuette. Draw something else. And we'll take. We'll take action. And we drew a land, but it's not bad. Let's see if he's willing to sacrifice both creatures and one of them. Let's put some pressure on. I didn't think so. Alright, and that's the good thing. That's the good thing is we did some damage and that hides. And we got another blood token to play around with, and we got a specimen. 
I don't know if he, know, he knows what the boarded window does, but probably. Nobody really plays it, so. I'm just gonna do one life gain. Do, do, do the attack with the Griff Rider. I'll do two damage. That's fine. Okay. Oh, we can't do that. That's not gonna help me out. I think we'll. I think we'll get rid of that Blood Hypnotist. Because it can't block, so... Because we're going to lose the boarded windows next turn. I think what we'll do is... Let's put that out. I know the play was to throw the Persistent Specimen and put it back in my hand, but Blood Hypnotist is like one of my weakest cards. So, yeah, we're going to take action, bring it out, and then throw out the Recluse. See, that was a perfect draw. That's much better, because that's going to transform into a 3-3 at the end of the turn. And now we attack with the Satuette again. See if he's going to block with the Thong this time or not. He's not. Okay. There's another thong, okay. He's got a lot of creatures out there. I mean, he's doing his thing. And the board of windows is gone now. But it, it did its purpose. Like, this is a really well put together deck here. Alright, so. I think the Griff Rider's gotta go because the training. We just need one more land to get a tendon now. So let's give it a better rider. He might have he might have a buff that, that stops this. It's possible. Yep. Okay. That's I'm just gonna give him a nice on that. That's a good play. Let's attack with the skeleton. Should I attack with the witch too? No, I think I'm going to leave the witch. We'll just attack with the skeleton because if he kills it, we can bring it back in the hand. If he doesn't, whatever. Yeah, this does one damage. But at least the griff is back down to... It did, it's back down one less training. We need our flyer. We only have one foot. That was an oversight, not putting a flyer in the deck, but hey. But the good news is, Olivia's attending can take out creatures each turn. So, there's that. Let's attack with the witch and the specimen. Yep, that's what I figured we'd do. But I'm fine with that exchange. Okay. Put the attendant back in my hand. That's a, it's, it's a well played. It's well played. Oh, he got a couple. He got a couple more. No, he just got one. Okay. So he got one more wretched thong. I mean, that's fine. So we can't do the Libby's Attendant thing this turn. So we delayed one more turn, so that means that... Well, I guess... Inst I kind of have to because he's going to do 5 damage. So we're just going to do this. Get rid of the Grip Rider. Unless he's got another like pullback in his hand. Because this, I mean, I won two in a row, so I'm not going to be surprised. Yeah, that was uh, the third wash away he's had. Uh, he had Alchemist Retrieval and wash away, so. No attacks. He's going to do five damage to me. 
I, I don't think I can win this one, to be honest with you. I mean, I won two in a row, so I would fully expect the game to come at me with everything it's got. I mean, even in limited, that's what it does. It's a rigged piece of crap game, so whatever. This is a good deck. He's got a well-put-together deck, but, like, he literally drew, like, all of the, the washaways and the alchemists. Like, he drew really, really good. But there's no other way to put it. That's game. I mean, I gotta, I gotta just concede. What can I do? I won two in a row. That's how this game is. I won two in a row. It's gonna come for me. So we're two and one. We just need one more win. That's all I'm looking for is one more win. So if we can sneak out one more win, I'll be okay. Two more minutes. Two more wins would be perfect because that'll be. Make, make me be back even and get my money back, but I doubt it's going to give it to me. We'll see. That was that was a really well put together deck. It's that person, they might be in bronze, but they know what they're doing building a deck in, in limited. I'm sorry. They might be like my, my friend Wiz there who has like four or five accounts and just to keep doing limiteds over and over and over again. So that would be my guess. But they, yeah, they put, the, they put that deck together and they got all of those kickbacks that they needed. If they didn't kick back that Olivia's, that would have been a whole other game. Ah, <sighs> I don't want to mulligan it. Sorry, just for the flame. Like we can play all three of these with the three swamps, so we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. We got a one, two, and a three play. Like it's curving us. It's curving us. I can't. I can't throw it back just for a mountain. Like I'm not mulliganing for that. So we'll, we'll take it. That noob chase. That's a good name. Not as good as mine, but hey. <laughs> oh, he's on the he's on the play. So that's two games in a row. After, we win two games in a row, and we're on the draw. Two games in a row. Look at that. Shocker. Oh, now, now we're drawing only Swamp. Okay. I didn't think Vampires would be the strongest. I didn't expect to win this. This is like my first premium draft. Like, I, I did not expect to win it. All right, we're not going to block. We're going to block the Drog School next turn. Now we need a Mountain Pad. No attacks. Although, I guess we'll get a Blood Token next turn, so that's good. We can always get rid of one of the Swamps and hope we draw a Mountain. This is, this is the weakest card in the deck. But I guess it's it's not that weak because it doesn't block, but one creature can't block, so I mean there is we're up against Orzov, so this is gonna be life gain, it's gonna be really tough. Obviously I'm not oh god, another swamp, really. So we have five swamps and no islands. There's eight swamps and seven islands in this deck. We've got five out of our eight swamps already. That's it's telling us we are going to lose. It's trying to give him the win. It's doing its best. Wow. Aww. He's got control. Oh. I'm going to go on tilt if I only get my two wins on this game. He might never see me again. Like, I don't know what to do. Like, I need that right close out there. That's four or five damage. I got to keep him out there. Because he'll transform next turn. It's just like it. Oh, there we go. So, we can bring the, the skeleton back in our hand, but... I think what we're going to do first is, instead of throwing a swamp down, we'll get rid of one of the swamps and hope that we draw a mountain, but we did not, of course. So, now we're screwed. Like, this f***ing shuffler. Like, fix your game, you I mean, that's the good news, is I switched the witch. 
So it's going to scare him on attacking. I mean, he's probably still going to attack with everything. That would be my move. Or maybe he'll attack with the Jocks will and then only, I don't know. Okay, interesting. So he's got Blood Token going on. All we need is one mountain. That Abraid will be big time. We could steal one of his creatures with, like, one flame bolt, like... One mountain. We're praying for a mountain. I, I was I was worried, but I was not going to mulligan. Oh my god. That's six out of eight swamps before we get a mountain. Are you f***ing kidding me? Like, this game, like... I'm not attacking. He, let's make him keep throwing his... Like, I need... I need one mountain. That's what I need. One mountain. Give me a mountain. Seriously. How bad are you at programming? Well, let's not answer that question. We know Wizards of the Coast is probably the worst programming company out there. They are, like, really, really, really bad, obviously. And it's gotten so much worse with this new, new patch. Oh, I got one of those, don't I? I believe. No, I don't think I did. I, b I believe I do have one of those in my, in my deck. Let's see if he tags. No. Nope. God damn it. Of course not. Of course I'm not going to draw a freaking mountain. I should have mulliganed my cam. I really should have. Hopefully he tags with only the social light. The bordered windows will really, really save my butt. Just one mountain. That's all I need. I've gotten six out of my eight swamps already. Just give me a freaking mountain. There's seven of them in the deck. I've never been praying for a land flood of mountains before in my life until now. Oof. 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 That's strong. Like, what do we do? Like, what do we, honestly, what do we do? I gotta take that six damage. And he's gonna get, like, this is what we have to do. I'm going to be so mad if I get knocked out of this with only two wins after going 2-0 and because it, it screwed me on a land draw. It's, it's a good, uh, you might see me rage quit and not be back for till next Monday. Like, this is, it's really bad. This game, this shuffler is really bad. There's no other way to say it. So, excuse my language, but I've drawn six swamps out of eight and not a single freaking mountain. All it's drawn is freaking... Red cards. You gotta be f***ing me. You gotta be kidding me, you stupid game. Fix your shuffler. It's just ridiculous. Now I'm two and two. Now, if I lose, I've just wasted 10,000 gold for three packs because of their stupid shuffler. This is why I don't do limited. Because it's such a gamble. Like, I stomped in those first two matches. Like, I got all my cards right, and then it's like, oh, oh, wait, you won? Oh, now we're going to make you lose. Like, this might be the last time I do a draft. If it's going to be like this, if it's going to, the shuffler is going to be this bad. Okay, now look, now it's like two and two. It's like, okay, we screwed you over really bad, bud. So here we go. I mean, that that's pretty good, pretty, the spell I can't cast, but I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm not going to kick it back after last turn, after not being able to draw a freaking mountain. Let's just pray we can get this win and I can get my third and I won't be on full tilt. I was already on tilt before I started this game. But we started the draft, but I, I drafted well. I did what I could. We got good good vampires. We crushed it in the first two. I, I will say the good the good news is is that okay, we got two. The good news is that we've matched up with different decks every single game. So it's much better than the best of one matchmaking. That's for damn sure. I mean, 
literally every single game has been a completely different color match. So I will give that credit. Like the matchmaking in, in Limited is probably a little better. But if the Shuffler is still screwed, like what's the point? What does this do? It's better creature card, draw a card, okay. Got rid of, okay. He's got zombies. He's doing zombies. We got vampires versus zombies. Interesting. All right, so. Now we're drawing plenty of land. I think we'll do Gluttonous Guest. We're going to get rid of one of these swamps because we need more creature cards. More damage. Gotta do damage when you can. And the Persistent Specimen, it's been out every single game. I gotta give it credit. It really draws the one card, one mana card. What does this thing do? Yeah, when it dies, it creates a 2-2 token, so... I don't know if I want to do that. Alright, another Swamp, so... Let's just do this from the start. Get rid of the Swamp. Now it's flooding us, so... Okay. So, let's put out our specimen. And our hypnotist. And we'll all attack, because we can't kill either one of them. I'm okay if you. I'm surprised he didn't sacrifice his dissenter for a 2 2. Like, seriously, like, that's what the whole point. That's the whole point of your dissenter. And that's six mana, so we need one more mana to get rid of that. Okay. Interesting. This is just, I, I'm just so mad that the last game, like, I lost fair and square to that spirit deck. That guy had a really good deck. He built his deck really well. Props to him. But losing because I didn't draw a mountain when I drew six freaking swamps out of eight, that's just ridiculous. That's just ridiculous. Of course we'll sacrifice him. Bring him back in the hand. All right, so, well, it looks like we gotta, gotta get rid of the, Gargantua, huh? <laughs> no attacks. We gotta play. Uh, we gotta play defensive because I've lock, I've got two losses. It gave me a really good, a really strong deck to beat me. The first one fair. That was a fair loss. Last last loss, second in a row was not fair. I never even got a chance because I never got a freaking mountain. The whole game never got a mountain. Like if I got one mountain, I could have every turn. I had five, five red cards in my hand. Like, okay. Gets rid of my gift of fangs. So that's fine. Didn't really hurt me. Okay, so this is what we do. Ragged Recluse. Bring the specimen back to our hand. Okay, no, he didn't come to the hand. Goes there. That's that's. I need I need a card for those. All right. No attacks. I couldn't get rid of the recluse. He's really strong. Really strong. I need to I need to transform. But okay, so he's like doing zombies and vampire thing. Interesting. I mean, the blood tokens are good because you draw card. Drawing cards is, is, is good. Get rid of cards you don't need, yada yada. I mean, it's, it's good. He's probably going to bring back that, that Kraken. This is a reanimator deck, yeah. Yeah, so he brought back the Kraken and the Dissenter, yeah. I honestly wish this came to my hand and not to the battlefield. If that skeleton came to my hand, I could just cycle it with the blood token. That would be just so awesome. Okay, we're not gonna do. We're gonna get rid of the board of windows, obviously, because that will transform the recluse, get us some life as well. Ooh, 
Ooh, and we drew Olivia's. That's perfect. No attacks. In the turn. Transform them. Once again, we got all black creatures out there, though. <laughs> He's getting the Kraken out this turn. I mean, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay, the center first. Interesting. Then the Kraken. Yeah. He's going to exploit. When he, when he exploits, each opponent sacrifices a creature. So he's going to sacrifice at the center. Smart play. There's a smart zombie play. Alright, we'll sacrifice our... Skeleton that can come right back. No, I'm okay with that. Could be worse. And now we'll get some gas out there. You got a 5-4, I got a 6-6 six, six with Menace. What you thinking, buddy? I can't, I can't use the witch. I mean, I'd love to, but no attacks. It just has Menace, okay, not haste. Oh, of course he's got a destroy spell. Oh, well, it's gonna be two wins, it looks like. It looks like this guy got his zombie stuff going. It's going to be two wins. And I'm probably going to rage quit the game again. And we'll never play limited again. And I'm going to uninstall and say, F of the coast and this game. Like, I I'm honestly thinking I might do that. That's where I'm at. Pardon the language, if you're offended by that. But... I had no choice there. Ooh, ooh, that works. All right. So we could do this. I can keep the social life for now. Throw the specimen back out. Socialite. I wish I could sacrifice it. I don't have sacrifice in this deck, though. He's not going to block, obviously. He's going to let me do the damage. Or maybe he blocks with one of the zombies. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, that's, that's the smart move. I know I'm still sitting kind of in the driver's seat here at 29 health, but I'm just, I'm already was on tilt. The last few days have been so rough in arena. The, ever since they came out with Crimson Bow, the shufflers broke more, the matchmaking systems broke more. The amount of losses you get is like 10 times more than before. They used to really do good about keeping you close to 50-50. They don't give a crap about that anymore. They're just making people lose now. They're just like, screw you, you're all gonna die. Like that's really where they're at. So we're just gonna do this. I know I'm not dead yet. I, I, I got more control on the deck, so it's possible to, to pull this out. I need a good draw, though. Or just to land, and I'll get rid of it with the blood token. I mean... Okay. Gets rid of one of his cards, draws. I mean, but this is all or nothing. Like, I won two in a row, and then it's. And then it just smacked me down. And it's kind of sad that in Limited it does the same exact kind of crap that it does in, uh, does in the standard ranked best of one shuffler and everything. It's like they're all the same thing. Oh, sweet. That's a good draw. So, what are we going to get rid of? Oh, God. Crab Horror. He's, he's got a strong deck. Like, 
This is really tough. I can get it. I can get the socialite out. I guess I should have done that first. But it doesn't matter. Exile the card. Get the socialite out. No attacks. Oh, Muerte, you're bringing six along. I'm doing a limited draft, and I'm probably about to get my butt kicked. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate the raid. He's got a, he, I mean, he got a zombie exploit deck. I did a vampires deck. This is zombies versus vampires, and he's got, he's got a, the power creatures. Like, I don't know how else to say it. Whatever. Oh, and he got a second hero's downfall. So this this is like the guy that was picking all the black spells that I needed. Great. Well, we're going to get two wins in a row, and then we're going to get three losses in a row. And I'm probably going to never do a draft again, because screw that. It's such a waste of money if they're going to just come at you like that. Like, you make you, make you think your deck's good and all, and then, no, not really. Sorry, the bolt ain't gonna do anything for me. So we gotta we gotta just keep digging, I guess. I mean I could kill a zombie, but whatever. And we'll do it again. It's a journal. Ain't gonna be much. And granted I don't know what I'm doing with drafts, so. Oh, there we go. A braid. Alright, so. That will get rid of the deprived harvester, at least. I mean, there's that, but I don't know how much longer I can hold on for. What is this thing? Ward 2. Can't be blocked. I wasn't going to block it anyway, so that's fine. Now we're so... Oh my god, what did he get? A biome? Oh man. What is this thing? I didn't, I didn't have the opportunity to pick any of these cards in my draft, so this guy got a obviously much better, much better packs to pick from because I didn't get any creatures like this. I went with the first one I got was the vampire, the Olivia's, which did he kill it off? I think he killed it. Olivia's attendance, that's, that's the first thing I got. And This is pretty much over with now. I mean, we're on the draw, and he's drawing good stuff, and we're just drawing land, so. It decided, screw you again, and this will probably be the end of the stream, and I don't know if I'm going to stream anymore the rest of this week, because this really has gotten me. Neither land. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Eight out of my seventeen lands. I mean, I guess it's about that's about right average number. What's this thing? He can cast it again. That's why he did that. I mean, he's got some enchantment. I don't know what it does. Wayne Blast Bolt. Yeah, I guess I just don't have that good of a deck. I just, I gotta remember, I just suck at magic. According to this, I'm just horrible. And this is why I always say, like, what, how are they ever gonna get people to play this game if, like, you come in, you don't have all the gas cards, you try to do a draft to get some cards, and then it, it screws you over, so you only get two wins, like me. I won two in a row, and then I lost three in a row. One of those was definitely manipulated. This one, uh, I mean, it's fair enough. He's got a strong deck. I'm not going to say, but uh, draw another land. It's definitely manipulated at that point. Okay. Well, at least we can. <laughs> Look at how many freaking lands I'm drawing. All right. So. 
think what we do is this. I mean, he can do seven. I can heal myself too. What is that special thing? Draws a card. And I guess. I guess we gotta. We gotta do it. Got no choice. I mean, to try and survive, but. Oh god, and we draw another freaking land. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It really is just... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this game. This game. Alright, we're going to attack with it. Because we got another one, why not? It doesn't matter. Because I put it out anyways. So... Like, but I don't know. I don't see how I can win. Like, I don't have enough control to get it, the stuff off the board. Like, he got just enough to kill all of my powerful creatures. I've got my flyer. Like, that's what I got. But he got rid of my Olivia's. Yep, smart play. I mean, this guy played well. But I just, I'm so mad that it gave me a game where I didn't draw a single mountain to get a loss. That's, that's the shuffler just basically intentionally giving me a loss. Like, I don't know what to say. Like this game. That's what I got to say. I just wasted 10,000 I just wasted 10,000 gold. I could have bought 10 packs. I could have bought 10 packs. I got two wins. I only wanted three wins. I wasn't even greedy. I just wanted three wins. 250 gems and two packs for 10,000 gold. Like... Really? Now I have 9,000 gold. I better get some gas in these packs. Like, it better give me something good. I mean, I guess I'm 500 gold away from one more win and I would have been able to guide the mastery pass. Like, so pissed. Me. Okay, that's a pretty crappy card. Nothing special. I need one more pack and I get my Mythic Wild. Well, that's a decent card, actually. Not really that great. Griff Rider's a good card. But not that great. Okay, now that's a good card. That's, that's what I had in the deck. That's a good card. That's the one I had drafted. And I did make a mistake in going for Vampires. I just... That was the first rare, and I kept getting controls in black and red, so I just went Rakdos. But, at the end of the day, I mean, you can see the meta is blue and white. That's, that's what it is. That's just such a waste. I feel like that's such a waste. Like, 10,000 gold for that. Like... And the first two games, I completely smashed, right? Like, they didn't have a chance. Then the next two games, I didn't have a chance. That third game, eh, well, at a point I had a chance, but he had a really strong deck. So, what can you do?